Hey guys, what's happening? I'm back, last promised, part two of the earlier video from today. Anyway, a parody, comedy, entertainment purposes only, not to be taken seriously if you don't like it and it bothers you, well, I've done my job. <laughs> Good to be back. It's um, it's uh, been been a pretty hectic few weeks, but it's all good. I've been in a little bit of a slump, haven't wanted to do much, just taking care of business and making sure dad's good, which he is, dad's really good. Um, anyway, that's about it. I hope you guys uh, are doing fantastic. I hope I hope you uh, are spending time with your loved ones and your family and doing the important things in life. It's a crazy world out there right now and we need a lot of peace. Uh, a lot of things could change in the next in the next few weeks as far as you know politics goes but I don't get into politics I just want peace in the world you know peace in the Ukraine uh China North Korea it's just crazy I mean as if there's just not enough to worry about in day-to-day -day life it's just it's just uh horrible anyway I hope everybody's doing fantastic and um enjoy the show and we'll be back right after this quick message from our sponsors. Hi, <laughs> are you a young student coming up in the world and you wanna be like me? Cause I'm perfect and everybody wants to be me. <laughs> I mean, look at this beautiful tan. Uh, uh, well, it just so happened folks for fall classes are being signed up right now from for the me, me university that I started myself. Uh, uh, since I've got so much extra time on my hand now, I'm supposed to be keeping my mouth shut. <laughs> but I can't. Okay, anyway, look at some of these classes that you can sign up for right now. Classes are filling up, so act now, because I can't. <laughs> you, can go, you can take, right now, Surrogates, Moon Bumps, and Hush Money 101. One of my favorite classes. Yeah. <laughs> Being only child with siblings. Yeah. <laughs> also, spray tans for every occasion. <laughs> How to bleed men until they're homeless. Yeah. <laughs> That's one of my favorite classes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Rim jobbing, rim jobbing for retirement money. <laughs> I'm going to have to get you to it because I'm, I'm losing everything. I, but I still have my looks though. Look at how beautiful I am. <laughs> Home remedies for STDs when the gynecologist can't figure out what you have. <laughs> I've come up with special home remedies to take care of any problems downstairs in the old stink compartment. <laughs> Neuter and preserve your man's balls. Oh, I specialize in that one. I have a lot of balls in a lot of jars on my mantle at home. <laughs> and extracting every last penny and to suck the soul out of your man completely until he's dead. <laughs> Act now, classes are filling up because I can't and I don't know how to and I never did and I never will. <laughs> That's right, Mimi University 2022 enrollment. Come on down and bring cash because I don't take anything else but cash. <laughs> Let's take a quick commercial break to hear from our sponsors. It's Magnet, the hottest man on TV today. <laughs> What's happening? It's Chip Magnet here, baby. What's happening? All right, well, welcome to tonight's game show. It's the hottest new show on television right now. Squeal or no deal. That's right. Squeal like a little piggy or no deal. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, folks, we've got one lucky man tonight. He is, he, he's had a hard life for the last few years. So we're having him on the game show tonight for him to have a chance to win himself back one way or the other. 
ado, Hopefully. let me introduce our lucky contestant for this evening, Mr. Harry Balls on ya. Hi everybody, yeah, uh, hi. Yeah, I'm uh my name's Harry. Yeah, Harry Balls on ya. It's uh it's really good to be here on the show. Um I, I've had a I've had a rough few years. Uh and and I heard this is the place to come try to redeem yourself and, and win your life back. So that's what I'm doing here. You know? Um and pigeons make me happy. Okay, Mr. Harry Balls on ya. Tell us a little bit about yourself there, son. <laughs> I used to have a lot going for me, and I was letting my little head lead around the big head, and I wasn't thinking properly. And uh, I'm really grateful to be on the show, because I used to be a really important person, and I used to smile all the time, and but I don't anymore, because cause I used to have a pair. But but they're in a jar somewhere, I think. Um, anyway, thank you so much, Chick, for this super opportunity. I, I, I can't wait. I, I, I just can't wait. I, I, I'm gonna make the right choice. I know I'm gonna make the right choice. You know, I can feel it in my groin. Well, I used to be able to feel things in my groin, but it, it, it hasn't been, nothing's been going on there for, for a few years. As you know there, Harry, Harry balls on ya. This this whole show here is designed for poor souls like you to keep your life back together. Cause pathetic, pathetic, ballless individuals who have a hard time talking to women and putting their foot down deserve a spot on this show. They actually can win their dignity back or something else, maybe a body part. <laughs> <laughs> So tell us there, Harry Balls on ya. What brings you to signing up to get on this show? I mean, when we read your resume and re looked over, you know, the reasons why you came on this show, well, you know, our hearts went out to you, you know? Not too often does a man admit he gets his ass kicked all the time and black eyes. He gets locked in his chicken coop. He has no say. He has no money to call his own. He does what he's told. I mean, we feel seriously bad for you. That's why we decided to have you on this show, son. That's right. We want you to get your life back together, Mr. <laughs> Harry. I have nothing at all. It, it all got sucked right out of my soul. Like, like... I, I, I think the girl that I'm with, she she's she's really good at suck starting Harley Davidsons and and she can suck a golf ball through a garden hose. I've never seen anything like it. So I'm here to just try and get some of my dignity back because pigeons do make me happy. And I like chickens too. And I, yeah, I do like chickens, but um chick <laughs> that's a good one there harry but tell me one thing have you always looked like napoleon dynamite <laughs> okay big h you've had plenty of time now to look over all the fine women holding them suitcases it's time for you to make your choice is it going to be one of the 20 fine, beautiful, articulated, educated, well-rounded women that you could possibly even have a date with, like a normal chick. Yeah, like like a normal chick? Have you ever heard of that? Well, you make sure you, you make your choice real super good now, okay? So tell us, H, what's it gonna be? What number suitcase is gonna be attached to that women that you might be able to take home. <laughs> Chick, I, I, I think I've made my choice. You know, I, I haven't had luck with really beautiful, hot, intelligent, smart, awesome women. I, I seem to have the best luck with, with, with grotesque, um, um, narcissistic, 
um, evil, evil, uh, I, I like to be lied to a lot. So I'm going to go with, I'm going to go with the girl, the, the hideous, the hideous bimbo. Yeah. The hideous bimbo with, 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 with the suitcase. Yeah. I don't want any of the other 20 beautiful ones. I want the hideous bimbo. That's my choice. I'm going to, I'm going for it. All right, folks. It's time to meet Big H Harry Balls on his lucky lady that he picked. He's going to go home with what's in her suitcase. So stay tuned because it's going to be good. Oh, Mr. Harry Balzania, are you ready to find out what you won? <laughs> you won. You get to suck my raptor toes. <laughs> That's too bad there, Big H, old hairy balls on you. Oh, man, what a bad choice. What, what's that? What, I, I'm getting word from the, I'm getting word from the office up there. The audience does not agree with that choice. That's right. We've decided to go ahead and give you one more pick. <laughs> Big, big A Terry balls on you. There ain't no way you're ever getting your balls back, boy. <laughs> Don't you love my beautiful tan? Oh, oh, yes. 14 days in the Caribbean. Oh, it's not easy to get this golden look of luscious desire. Everybody wants to be me. <laughs> job on the show. Do you still want me to do that thing? Uh, you know, th that I do? You know, are you going to make me like the number one suitcase girl? <laughs> you know, you know, you know, when I, yeah, when I do that to, to, yeah, that, that part. <laughs> okay. Thanks for having me on the show. <laughs> <laughs> All right, folks, thanks for joining us this evening on Squeal or No Deal. And I do apologize about that hideous suitcase girl. I mean, she'll hit on anything in the studio audience that owns a wallet. I mean, I think she's, she's going to get fired after, after, after this episode because she just keeps groping everybody and asking them how much money they got in the bank. So I hope you enjoyed her, but she's going to be excommunicated after this episode and thanks folks and good evening and thanks for tuning in oh chip magnet loves you and we'll see you next week hey guys i hope you enjoyed the show i had a blast doing it and made a mess with the makeup yeah and all that good stuff a lot of fun though um like i said earlier i didn't want to put anybody in the spotlight for the um, buy me a coffee money, which I've been donating on a one-on-one -on -one basis to people that I find in need on a one-on-one -on -one basis. Uh, I, you know, it's just, it's just not right. However, I did find a, um, very close to my house here. I found a, uh, a youth center that takes in, uh, young adults, puts them on the right path and, uh, they take children on field trips, underprivileged children who don't have a lot. So I'm going to be hitting them up on their doorstep and making my announcement and, you know, giving whatever extra monies come in to buy me a coffee. That's going to go to them. So it will go to a children's organization like I wanted to in the first place. But I have been donating money on a one-on-one -on -one basis, but it's not right to put people in the spotlight and... You know what I mean? You know what I mean? Anyway, love you guys. Hope you're all awesome. And um, we'll see you next time.